Hi everyone. Welcome to Jabatiki. DeepSeek is making waves in the AI world. But let's be real, as privacy always matters. Running it through their site means sharing the data, and that's a concern for many, isn't it? But what if I told you you can run the DeepSeek R1 model locally on your computer? And the best part is since it's free and open source, you can use it offline. with no internet or data sharing just pure ai power at your fingertips that's out of the box isn't it so in this tutorial i'll show you step by step how to set up and run deepseek r1 model in your local machine whether you are a mac user or windows user or linux the steps are straight forward and beginner friendly so without any further delay let's get started So to setting up DeepSeek in our local machine, what I'll do, I'll just search over Google, and I'll ask, hey, I want to run DeepSeek with Olama. So now, what is Olama? If you don't know, Olama is a tool that lets you run any type of large language model on your local machine without any cloud dependency. So just click on this Olama icon. Next, you need to. download this olama to your machine it depends on what operating system you are using it is available for mac os linux and windows so that once you install it you can run any type of large language model so you can see here the option we are seeing now you can run llama 3.3 deepseek r1 phi 4 there are different llm model you can run using this olama now click on download Since I am using Mac, just click on Download for Mac OS. It will download within a minute. Now, once the download is completed, just go to the download folder, and you will find something called Olama dot zip. Just extract it. Then you will find this application. Just double click on it. You can see the Olama icon is appearing here. So once it will be installed. you need to run it in your local i mean you no need to run it by default it will run just click on open can you see the icon which is showing here now once it started running you will find this icon welcome to olama click on next just click on install you need to provide the password next it will just ask you to run your first model just click on finish we don't want it to run it all good you can see the icon here olama is started that's good now our next task is to pull the model the deepseek model we want to pull it to the olama and olama provide a straight forward option to pull any model which you want to run your local machine just click on this olama icon now which model you want to run i want to run the deepseek r1 model just click on that you will find different version here can you see the drop down 7 billion parameter 1.5 billion parameter 14 billion 67 billion 671 not 67 671 billion parameter which version of model you want to run on your machine so it completely depends on your system configuration which one you want to use based on your cpu availability now if you see here there are different parameter 671 billion is the large model if you will use this definitely it will be more smarter but thing is that it will use your more gpu and i don't think i have enough memory to run this so we'll go with the least one which is 1.5 billion parameter okay so if you if you want to know which one is fit for your machine you just do one thing open the terminal and just run the command system profiler if you observe the result my system configuration is not good so it's 
सिक्स फोर्टी ग्राफिक्स आई हाव एंड आई डोंट हैव एनी जीपीयू कॉन्फ़िगरेशन द जीपीयू इज ऑक्युपाइड फ्रॉम माय सीपीयू ओनली ओके सम मेमोरी असाइन फॉर द जीपीयू इन माय मशीन सो आई एम गुड विथ द लोएस्ट वन व्हिच इज 1.5 बिलियन पैरामीटर सो लेट्स यूज इट नाउ दिस इज द ऑप्शन व्हिच यू वांट टू रन ऑन योर टर्मिनल ओके सिंस यू इंस्टॉल द ओलामा टू वेरीफाई वेदर ओलामा इज इंस्टॉल्ड और नॉट व्हाट यू कैन डू जस्ट रन द कमांड ओलामा वर्जन कैन यू सी हियर इट्स इंस्टॉल्ड ऑन माय मशीन नाउ आई जस्ट नीड टू कॉपी द कमांड दिस कमांड देन जस्ट गो टू द टर्मिनल एंड रन इट पुलिंग द मैनिफेस्ट इट विल टेक इट विल ऑक्युपाई 1.1 जीबी ऑफ memory from your system and it will take around 30 to 40 second to complete so let's wait it to complete all good so successfully the deep seek r1 model is running on my machine with the help of olama now here you can start asking the question to this particular deep seek r1 model now let me ask something saying that hey deep seek r1 model write a java program to reverse a string let's see see here the response i am getting immediately i am getting the response the initial response is nothing your deep thing that is what we understand so let me show you now same thing i will ask here okay in the browser now if i'll ask him i'm getting the response but i don't want it just stop it now i'll ask the same question i will enable the deep thing now if i'll click on enter it will start thinking the use case the thought process it will share okay same thing we are getting in our terminal as well can you see here it is still thinking once it will share the thought process then we will start writing the code for you let's wait it to type the code it's thinking so many thing right which you don't need at all that's fine yeah it started writing the code can you see here let me zoom this for you see the approach here it used the string builder and it use the reverse i guess yeah so this approach does not looks good right so if you don't happy with this approach you can counter to the deep say hey can you write the code in java it stream api or till you satisfied you can keep ask the question to this guy deep seek model okay so it's still writing the code let it complete first so if you observe how fast it is giving me the response even though i choose the lowest model with the i guess 1.5 billion parameter still it's giving me so many solution it's writing something and saying that okay maybe the case will be like this this is what the expected answer alternatively you can do like this it's giving all the way he know the answers okay so you can read it carefully but if you don't feel good to read this terminal still you can install the web ui to access the deep seek r1 model from your local so let's do that let him write the solution we don't i don't know how much time it will take or how many solution it will give to me let it do their job meanwhile i am feeling bored to use this terminal just ask the question get the answer in uh, in the form of text here so what i want to do i want to use the web ui for this deep seek in my local so for that what you can do the approach is again straight forward you just need to type deep seek web ui or just yeah this one i guess 
better let me directly search in the github yeah this is the open web ui which you can install on your machine to access the deepseek ui you can get the same feel how you are getting here okay same feel you can find in your local so to install this open web ui for deepseek what you can do if you check the documentation you can install using python if you have already installed on your machine if not since i have the docker i can play with the docker image if olama in on your computer use this particular command if olama is on different server use this particular command since you already installed the olama just copy this make sure you will start your docker desktop in your local once i will start it then i will just run this particular command okay so that docker will pull this open web ui image for me and it will start a container for me okay so docker is starting now now i will just open another terminal so this is the new terminal now this guy is still writing the uh, answer i just ask a simple question to reverse the string i didn't ask such complex logic but anyway he is giving the answer all the way he knows just ignore it let it write the code meanwhile i will just run the command same command which i copied from here unable to find the image so it will pull the image you can see here from the docker hub it will pull the image and it will start a container for you great so it seems it download the container by pulling the image this okay now let's check the docker page yeah here is the image you can see and if you check the container yeah container is up and running on port 3000 right just go to the browser and type here localhost 3000 great so we are in the home page now click on get started then fill this form so name i will give java techy then email id password you can set anything now just click on create admin account with this information we can see the page chart page right and by default it is taking the local running model can you see here we ran deep seek r1 1.5 byte and that is what it is taking this one right and we are getting this now let's start typing the prompt here okay so let's say write java program to find the sum of list of integers just click on enter you can see here it started thinking now it will be little bit slow on my machine because i am using the lowest model okay so it will take around 2 to 3 minute since i am running it on my local machine but if you have a good configured system you will get the fast response so you can see here it started generating the response meanwhile i just want to show you you can run this offline okay when i am saying offline without any internet so let let this complete first then we'll turn off the internet and we'll try to ask something else meanwhile let let's check the other chart yeah this is also done so many response right so it will generate the response and then it will give you the answer so you can see here right it started giving the response now it will explain you what each and every step it does so if you don't like this you can ask him hey write the code in java it stream api or anything what comes to your mind you can just type that prompt here okay so this is done now let's turn up the internet and start asking the things then we'll verify whether this model is working offline or not so i'll just turn up my wifi 
you can see here there is no internet connection to my system now i will ask something let me zoom this if i can yeah write a java program to find even and odd from a list again it started thinking great it started thinking now first i should create a class for the list maybe something like okay it is typing so again it will be little bit slow because it depends on your system configuration so that is that is what we understand right without internet or offline also we can run it let it complete meanwhile let's understand what is the advantages if i run the ai models locally there are some major advantages first thing is your privacy your data stays on your machine only so there will be no risk of sharing sensitive information and since this is open source this deep seek is open source you are free to use with no subscription or no fees okay and you have fully control on it you can fine tune and experiment without any external dependency so these are the advantages you can find if you run the ai model in your local however running models locally does require some hardware consideration especially when you are aiming for a large model okay or large version it need high configured machine so just give a try with your configuration try to choose the least one which is nothing the 1.5 billion parameter and try to experiment about this deep seek model in your local machine and do let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept